Hey guys, welcome back to our Gen Performance. So following up from the hamstring video we posted last week, I wanted to talk a little bit about different ways you can work upstream or downstream to try and affect the, the tension through the hamstrings. Hamstrings are important in a lot of sprinting activities because we need them to be tight in order to be explosive and to, uh, to contract fast. But at the same time, we need to make sure that we free up any issues that we have that are causing pain. So with the hamstrings, we have to find this balance between the two. So one of the things we were talking about um, the other day was that the hamstrings actually have fascial attachments onto the lower limb and to the, to the torso. Now I wanna to focus today on the attachment of the semimembranosus muscle, which is on the inside of the leg here, and that's gonna actually attach onto the fascia covering the popliteus muscle. Uh, now that muscle is in the back of the kneecap and it helps as we come into this terminal extension position, it helps rotate the knee so that way it can lock out. So if we are getting, if we have tightness in that popliteus muscle, as we come into this full extension position, that force transmits up through the chain and we're, you know, having a lot of muscular, neuromuscular tension in the hamstring. So by affecting the popliteus muscle, we can, in effect, change the tension relationship through the hamstring. So I wanna show you how to do that today. So we've got our ball. I've elevated it a bit. That just helps uh, just to get the range of motion that we want. So you're gonna put the ball right in the back of the kneecap and find that spot that doesn't feel good at all. And then from here, you're gonna extend the knee, point the toe, and you're gonna hold for a couple seconds and then relax. Find a different spot. You're gonna extend that leg, point that toe, and then relax. So in doing that, we are contracting the popliteus muscle into the ball. And then as we relax, we're creating that tissue change and that relaxation that we want. So here, good. So spend about a minute on each side doing that and then you'll feel the difference. I'm actually getting some blood flow into my hamstrings right now. So you'll actually feel that difference in that terminal knee extension and see if that helps your back, your hamstrings. And uh, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.